Okay, so your circulator is leaking. There's a lot of different types of circulators. There are bigger ones and smaller ones. This one's a medium-sized circulator. This one is piped with the pipes horizontal. The motor is horizontal. You can have them with the pipe vertical. The motor generally needs to be horizontal. Uh, when they leak, they usually show water someplace around the bearing assembly in this area where the bearing assembly comes up to the pump casing. Uh, I get a lot of calls, people want to buy a gasket for that that's actually a weep hole allowing the water to evacuate. Uh, let's open this up and see why it's leaking and how to fix it. Okay, to take this pump apart and most pumps, there are some bolts holding the bearing assembly into the casing. This one has four bolts, two on the top, two on the bottom. We're going to take these bolts out. I am also going to take the motor off of this one. There are four bolts holding the motor on as well. So I'm going to take that apart we'll be right back. Okay. This is what is inside this pump right here. We're going to take these four bolts off, these four bolts off. This bearing assembly comes out. There's an impeller attached to the shaft of the bearing assembly that is inside this casing. We're going to now take the impeller off. I'll show you what the seal kit looks like and how to change that, and also how to tell you if you need to get more parts than just that. Okay, we have pulled the bearing assembly out of the casing and pulled the motor off, so now we have the bearing assembly with the impeller on it. We're going to take the impeller off. I've loosened this acorn nut. Usually they're held down with that and pull the impeller off. Sometimes they come off easily, sometimes they don't. When this seal, and this is the seal kit right here, when it leaks, it lets water come out of these weep holes. This is positioned like this with the weep holes down, oil cap up. If it's leaking more than just a drip, 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 it has probably pushed oil back into the bearing assembly and the bearings are starting to wear. So when you're at this point, Push the shaft back and forth, up and down. It's going to have a little four to aft play, but it should have no side to side play. If it does, you want to replace this whole bearing assembly. Uh, I'm now going to take the seal kit off. The spring comes off. The rotating head comes off. And there is a seat in here that has to be changed too. When this thing is gooked up, it's very hard to see. There's a stationary seat and some rubber that holds it together. That all needs to come off. There's a look at that. There is a look at the rotating head. And there's a look inside there what that's supposed to look like. Yours will be a little dirtier if it's been in use, but there is a receiver. You need to clean that out real good. And then you need to reverse order, put the seat in, seat back in. This one has an, a little cup that the seat is sitting in. Hopefully you can see that. That goes with the cup side down, the shiny side up, a little bit of lubricant, non-oil lubricant, maybe some soap or something. This stationary seat, excuse me, the rotating head goes on with the carbon side down, over the shaft, spring goes on, centering washer goes on, and the impeller goes back on. And that's all there is to it. Now we are back with the impeller off. Some of these units have an impeller, hopefully you can see this, with a little bit of a ring, a raised place, that receives the spring. And if you leave the centering washer on one that has a receiver, it will overcompress the seal kit and break it. So you want to take that off if yours is like that. This one here, as you can see, is flat and requires that centering washer to control where the spring is. This one has the centering device built right into the impeller. So before you put your impeller back on, take a look. This is the side of the bearing assembly that goes to the motor. It uses a coupling, what's called a spring type coupling. One side goes on the shaft of the bearing assembly. The motor also has a shaft. This couples them together and is what drives it. I'd recommend changing that anytime you change the bearing assembly. It's a wear item, so I'd recommend changing it. When you put the bearing assembly in, if it's got an oil cap, that means it requires oil. So read the manufacturer's instructions on how much oil and how often to oil something like this. I hope this has helped.